Hello everyone and welcome to today's three minute mind reboot on self-soothing. Another way of saying self-soothing is just knowing how to make ourselves feel better. A lot of times we look outside ourselves when life is happening and changing and there's challenges and stresses and we don't really know how to cope or manage those. We look outside to others to provide us comfort and reassurance. And it's very important that we know how to do this for ourselves. We know how to give this to ourselves know how to calm ourselves down. So let's look at three really good things that you can do to improve your self-soothing techniques. The first thing is to soothe your mind. You must know what it is that your mind is upset about, what it's talking to you about in the background. So it may be chattering away about, you know, you need to do this and it's overwhelming you about all these different situations. You need to sit down with it and, and really listen to what it's saying. Write down the thoughts that you're having. What is it that is really afraid of? And then once it tells you what it's afraid of, then ask it, is that true? Is that really what it is that you're afraid of? Is there something more up under that? So sit down with your mind and learn how to soothe your mind. I wrote a whole manual on this called the Master Plan. You can get that for free on my website. Number two, soothing your body. Take time to sit down also and think about those activities that make you feel calm and relaxed. We really don't think about this. We've had a hard day. We don't think, hey, what is it that makes me feel better? What makes my body feel relaxed and okay? Maybe it's a hot bath. Maybe you like to drink a hot cup of tea. Maybe you like to wrap yourself in a, a special blanket. Maybe you like to sit with a book. Maybe it's Netflix. Whatever that is for you that just helps you sit and say, you know what? Let's stop. Let's take a breath. Let's relax. Let's do some self-care. Know what it is that soothes your body. The third thing is to be your own best friend. A lot of times we we abuse ourselves instead of soothe ourselves. So that is the opposite of self-soothing is self-abusing. So if you're pushing yourself to the limits and saying, no, just keep going, i got to get this done, and this has to happen, and you're already at the maximum stress level that you can handle, stop what you're doing, be your own best friend, and ask yourself, if I were my best friend, what advice would I have for me right now? And your, your answer, you may be surprised by what your answer is. You may say, you know what, you're doing way too much. You're pushing yourself way too hard. It's okay. You need to let yourself off the hook and stop abusing yourself so much. So learning how to self-soothe is the topic of the day. I hope this Mind Reboot has been helpful, and I look forward to seeing you on the next Mind Reboot.